Hello once again, it's Doc Kyle, and we're gonna continue our topic of the female reproductive system. So, to begin, this is a general picture of your female reproductive system. No? This is your bilateral gonads. Wait, I'll adjust it first. is your bilateral gonads no this is your left and right ovary and then this is your left and right fallopian tube with a fimbriated tip no so the main star of the show no when it comes to the female reproductive um, system is your ovary no so if you look over here um this is um this is your ovary and it has an outer portion. This is your cortex, the outer portion. And then, kanang may mga bangag bangag, that's your cortex. And the middle portion is your medulla, no? So, what are these holes, no? What are these holes filled with fluid, no? Those are your follicles, no? And your follicles contain your oocyte, no? So, and then, in your medulla, this is where your blood vessels that nourish the follicles um, stay, no? Of course, it's branching pa man, pa man yung mga smaller um, blood vessel. And then, you have a tunica albuginea, your um, protective outer layer of your ovary. So, if the oocytes are within your follicles, no, how did it get there? So, um, unlike your unlike with your sperm cell, na your spermatogonia is the stem cells for your sperm cells, no, your um your oocytes are the number of your oocytes are already predetermined, no, na sila limit. Um, based on the book that I read, no, it was about 500. That was enough to, um, enough to <laughs> supply a lifetime until you eventually have menopause, no. So, these oocytes are kanang formed during your fetal period, and then what happens is, kane. So. We have different types of oocytes based on the based on the level of maturity, no. So before you had your puberty, no, before females had their puberty, we have what you call this primordial follicles, no. They originated way back when you were still a fetus. They were already produced, no. And then they already had their mitosis. Same with your spermato, uh, sperm cell na maturation. They already had their mitosis. But they are stuck in meiosis 1, no? So, remember that meiosis is two parts. Meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. But they are stuck in your meiosis 1. These cells still have 46 panachromosomes. Meaning, they are still not ready to accept the half from your um, sperm cell. So we'll talk about the development later, no? So, these are your primordial follicles, no? And then when the female undergoes puberty, what happens is there, a sh there is a shift in the hormonal um, hormonal concentrations in the female. Of course, mga secondary sex characteristics, kato mag uh, mag mag develop na ang breast tissue mag ang uh, voice mag uh, mag uh, mag uh, distinctive female voice na mag widen na ang start ang hips and then imuhang primordial follicles they will now develop into your primary follicles no and then that and no your primary follicle no will now have a uh, kato magkabaga na iyahang layer magkadako pod siya 
And then what you call the oocyte found in your primary follicle is now your primary oocyte, no? So, kato. So, pagka puberty ni mo, magka primary oocyte na ka. And then, when the time comes na magmens ng babae, a primary oocyte will be picked, no? So, this is more of a uh, kanang, it's a uh, very in-depth niya na study, especially if some of you will um, proceed with medicine. Um, we will talk about this in detail in ob in histology for medicine, no? But for now, just know that when a primary oocyte develops for kanang after menses, no, mag-start na po imong cycle because the menstrual cycle um, is more or less 14 days sa mga regular women, no? Um, after mag-end imuhang uh, uh, kato, mag-start imong mens, that's your day one na pod, no? And that's the start of a new cycle na pod, no? So, this new cycle, so another primary follicle will then be chosen, no? To develop, no? On your uh, first day of your cycle, no? So, okay. So, the follicle that will um, be chosen to develop, no? Um, the mechanisms on choosing what follicle will develop, no? Will be, is more of a hormogenetic na, I, uh, based on hormones, no? Who has the most receptors for the estrogen, progesterone? No, it's quite complex. So, oh, oh, you're wondering, no? These primordial follicles, kato, they number to about 500 based on kato, the book that I read before, and it's enough to last a lifetime, no? Even if you menstruated for once a month, um, since you were 14, and then eventually you're gonna have menopause based sa Filipino na general statistics, mga 50-ish. So, it, enough for siya. So, so, katano. So, and then, your primary follicle will now then develop in your, into your secondary follicle. No? So, what happens? Magkabaga siya, magkadevelop siya. And then, it will eventually develop into your graphian follicle. And then after which, it will expel the oocyte, no? Once you have a secondary follicle, your ovum is now also called, um, I know, sa, sa graphian follicle, pwede mahita buang, you call the ovum the secondary oocyte, no? So, katol. When the o oocyte is expelled from the follicle and once um, and in turn expelled from the ovary that's what you call ovulation no so we'll talk about that more later if we're gonna look here sa imuhang primordial follicle i'm gonna zoom that So, your primordial follicles, no, they are fixed in your meiosis 1, the prophase, no, sa imong meiosis 1, no. So, remember, meiosis 2 doesn't have a prophase, ha. <laughs> so, metaphase 2 na na siya mag-start. Anyway, kato. So, these are your follicles, no. It is lined by flattened the epithelial cells. No, and then the primary oocyte is here. This one. 
So this one is stuck in meiosis 1 until it develops after puberty. It develops into your primary follicle. No? So, kane. so your primary follicle. So the follicles, uh, what happens when it becomes the primary follicle? No? So of course, it, the follicle becomes bigger. No? And then, magdevelop po imuhang follicle cells, the ones that line the follicle, no? So, what is a follicle, no? A follicle is just, um, uh, think of it as a balloon, and inside, there is a substance inside, that's a follicle, no? Think of your hair follicles, no? Inside of the follicles, there is the hair strand, no? Uh, so, kato. It is a tube that is producing something in um, in the middle, no? In uh, it can be a tube or it can be a ball, no? That is producing something inside, no? There, these follicular cells produce this fluid, no? That suspends your primary oocyte, no? So, so the primary oocyte is still stuck in your prophase i don't know and in your prophase one of your meiosis one no so it will develop further along the line and as naga mature ang ano as the follicles mature it will eventually become your secondary follicle or also known as your antral follicle no so secondary or your antral follicle. So this is secondary follicle. So what does this antro mean, no? So this is your. It's still called your primary oocyte, by the way. This is your. Ano. So your follicular cells. You remember ganiha na naghan sila. They eventually proliferate, and they they eventually proliferate your follicular cells and they eventually um, surround your ovum no it becomes what we call this corona radiata no so this becomes your what we call corona radiata no so so kata remember from the primary follicle din hilang siya side sa basal area and then what it, once it becomes your secondary follicle it enroaches along no the primary oocyte it becomes your corona radiata um it's called this because it's like a crown no that radiates outward especially when it ovulates now you can see it more clearly no and then in between this corona radiata no in between this corona radiata and your primary oocyte, we have what you call a zona pellucida, no? Why it's called zona pellucida? Because zone, it's a clear zone, no? It's a clear zone. It's like, kato, more see-through. If ba po ang <laughs> mo microscope, it's not see-through, it's more like, kato, medyo transparent. And then, and then it's called this one, the space in between, it's called your antrum. No, it's a space is called antrum, and it's filled with fluid, um, called your liquor folliculi. No, liquor folliculi. So, kato, this is now your secondary follicle. No, so from the secondary follicle, one during menstruation. I no not menstruation no during kanang um, further development one will be called no one will be one follicle follicle no this happens uh, at the same time no? one follicle will be kanang picked to become the dominant the dominant follicle and that follicle will be the dominant follicle will now be called your Graphian follicle, no? It's over here. The Graphian follicle. Oh, it's the Graphian follicle. No? 
So the graphian follicle, no? So it's still the same compared to your secondary um, follicle, but now it's the the oocyte has finished your meiosis one na, no? It has finished your meiosis one, and it is now the secondary oocyte na. It is now stuck in the metaphase two of your meiosis two, no? So kato. So and then we shall call our follicular cells na. We shall call them granulosa cells na no. Shall call them granulosa cells, no? And then the outside of the follicle, these are your theca, theca cells, no? We call the and then here no, this 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 is your follicular cells or your granulosa cells, and this is now your theca cells, no? This is theca, and then napuno siya division, theca interna and theca externa. No. So, if we can see here, eventually, pag mag-ovulate, no, i-expel na ang ovum along with its corona radiata and zona pellucida. The zona pellucida is very important ha, because um, remember this, the thing that I told you na na capsule? That is your corona radiata, the capsule that, that the sperm needs to kanang continuous continuous uh, barrage that's your corona radiata they need to continuously barrage that and once they um, there is a weakening where the zona pellucida is attached the sperm needs to interact with the zona pellucida so that the oocyte which is still stuck in your metaphase 2 no will undergo i will finish meiosis no making the chromosome count from 46 to 23. So, pag half na ilahang both chromosomes, pwede na sila mag-combine. And, new life is kanang nanay conception, no? Nag-combine na, nag-combine na, a new being is formed, no? So, but, we'll talk about that later na po, no? But, here after na expel na expel ang imuhang um, secondary oocyte there is still the remaining corpus ay corpus the remaining follicle no still has kanang it still has action pa so naga produce diha po na siya og hormone no so Mahimo na siya og corpus luteum. This corpus luteum no, develop, this corpus luteum becomes yellow, meaning corpus meaning body, luteum meaning yellow, yellow body, no. And then it became yellow due to the increase of the steroid component. So na yellow siya no. Recall that adipose tissue is a yellowish tinge no. Increase yung fat component because the corpus luteum produces steroid hormones, namely your progesterone. No, anyway, kato. So kato. Here is corpus luteum, and then once, uh, tapos, may na eventually, ma run it the action of the corpus luteum will eventually run its course, no? And then, makupus or na siya, it will now become your corpus albicans, no? Which is called albicans, because albicans meaning white, no? So, the white body is just scar tissue na lang man. <laughs> so, kato. Wala na pulos ng corpus albicans, no? It's just there chilling. So, right. Another slide. Oh yeah. 
figure review na po nato here so this is a good enough area to review so kane primordial primordial follicle this is your oocyte here, your primary um, oocyte. And then this is your follicular cells, epithelia. And then when it becomes your primary primor, primordial follicle before, before puberty. And then next, after, uh, after uh, ongoing puberty pa. So, may na siyang primary follicle, no? na dako na iyahang kanang na nambok na iyahang follicular cell zona pellucida is forming and then this is your big boy na primary follicle na nibaga na imong follicular cells but still wala gihapon kay corona radiata no tapos napakay na nakay zona pellucida remember katong outside sa follicle katong mga stromal cells no na nakai thika interna cells no and then pag nahimo na siyang secondary or antral follicle um na nakai of course antrum tapos nibaga na pud pag mag start na siya o oh, kanang primar, primary follicle nag thicken na gani to imo mga follicular cells we call it na granulosa cells no so, these granulosa cells can be first seen in your multilaminar primary follicle. And then, mag-thick pagka-secondary or antral follicle na po ni mo, mag-thick na po ni mo hang thicka cells na nakay thicka interna, which is directly dikit sa mo hang um, katong follicular mem basement membrane, no? Tapos, kane, granulosa cells, andro, and then, eventually, pag- siya ang mapili to become the dominant, no? Na, na, na kay corona radiata sa imuhang directly uh, dikit sa imuhang oocyte. And then, this one, this bridge here, is called your cumulus ooforus, no? It's like a bridge from your granulosa cells, no? To your corona radiata. The corona radiata is just um, kana granulosa cells. Ah. Don't get me wrong. Nagdik sila lang tong granulosa cells na nagdikit sa imuhang on sa secondary na oocyte. All right. All right. Okay, so next slide. So the female gonads, the paired ovaries, each have an outer cortex containing many hundreds of ovarian follicles and inner medulla of dense connective tissue and large blood vessels. The ovary's cortex is covered by cuboidal mesothelium, the surface epithelium or germinal epithelium that overlies a layer of connective tissue, the tunica albuginea, no? Before puberty, all follicles are primordial follicles formed in the developing fetal gonad with each having one primary oocyte arrested in meiotic prophase, one, meiosis one, no? And a surrounding layer of squamous follicular epithelial cells, no? So, pag primordial pa siya, squamous pa, flat pa yung follicular cells, di pa siya chunky boys, no? After puberty, some primordial follicles develop each month as growing primary follicles with an enlarging primary oocyte surrounded by a larger epithelial cells 
now called granulosa cells, no? So, to I forget I forgot to mention earlier the ay na dili tanan magdevelop same at the same time, no? Some primordial follicles lang. So your primordial follicles, they are not your kanang in a sense dili sila reserve lang sila. But they are not your stem cells because stem cells, the definition of stem cells are they continually divide, no? They continually divide to replenish the population. That's not the case of your primordial um, primordial na follicles because they don't divide na as is na lang na sila, no? 500 kabuok. Okay. Next slide, please, no? So, kanay, zoom in ni siya. So, um, Dito magtanaw sa kodigo sa kilid. We will just see, no? So, kani, di, di nato na i-mention. Di nato na i-kanang tanawin ni kani siya. Di nato na i-mind. So, from the look of it, no? Iyahang follicular cells, no? Ang iyahang lining, kay flatten pa. And squamous, no? Tapos, lingin lang siya. Hmm, okay. So, Primordial ni siya. Kaya flattened pa man, squamous pa man iyahang follicular cells, no? So, kani, um, kani, medyo tambok na siya. The follicular cells are now assuming a cuboidal shape, no? No? So, hmm, masaka ni siya. Uh, this is your oocyte, no? So, this might be your primary, na? kato primary na ni siya because then pagtanaw ni mo directly outside your follicular cells no um, you can see that imuhang fika fika interna cells are developed na so the presence of fika interna and cuboidal na na follicular cells well most probably this is now a primary um, follicle no so, in contrast with your primordial follicle, hmm, what is this UF? No, so the meaning of UF is your unilamilar. Sakto ba? Oh, unilaminar, laminar dai laminar, follicular cells. No, so kato. All right. So, ang gina point na structure kay your follicles ah uh, follicle cells na flatten. No. And this big boy over here, no, is, this is the basement membrane, no? Tapos, tinawin ni mo, iyahang thika interna kay pronounced na. Nagka-coil around na din siya. This baga na po, imuhang. Pag once mag-sudo, mag-stratify na imuhang follicular cells, no, we can now call it granulosa cells, no? So, once mag like i repeat no so if ani pa lang siya single layer unilaminar still follicular follicular cells but once mag stratify na siya we can call it now granulosa cells no they're positive for inhibin no so kato still your oocyte and then our zona Pelucida, no? Mugawas po na itong ZO pag unsa na siya? Kanang uh, primary, uh, kanang multi laminar, no? Now, primary oocyte. Ay, primary follicle, rather. Alright. So, kato? Uh, mali day, mali day. Um, Nag-form pa siya sa so, imuhang unilaminar, imuhang zona pelucida, but mas maklaro na to siya sa imuhang multilaminar na na ano na primary follicle. All right. All right, all right. So, um between the oocyte and the granulosa cells, no? A thin layer forms called the zona pelucida which can contains glycoproteins, no, ZO, to which sperm surface must bind to reach the oocyte at fertilization, no. 
Antral or vesicular follicles are larger and have developed fluid-filled spaces among their granulosa cells, but the growing oocyte is still in prophase 1. The fluid is your liquor follicula, folliculi. folliculi. Ah. While the primary follicle grows, mesenchymal cells immediately around it, mesenchymal meaning your connective um, connective tissue no katong mga spindles like no around it form the highly vascular layer fecal interna and the more fibrous fecal externa with smooth muscle cells no important ni sila basta na kay smooth muscle cells makitan mag contract juda sila more than juna ilang purpose mag contract no and this these put muscle cells are these these smooth muscle cells are very important during ovulation kasi sila magpuga para mugawas imuhang um, oocyte no imo ova mugawas siya so kato so endocrine cells of the theca interna secrete both progesterone and estrogen precursors which are then converted by the granulosa cells into estrogen no so theca theca cells no then um theca interna produce precursors no estrogen precursors and then once maabot na siya sa imuhang because since tapad lang man sila they will produce the precursor and then your granulosa will convert it to estrogen we have three types of estrogen estradiol is the most common estrone is when you're alone na lang and then estriol is when you're prangent, no? Uh, estrone is when you're, um, kato, when you're, um, alone na lang, menopause lang ka, no? So, kato. So, one, two, three na siya. So, antral follicles continue developing as mature graphene follicles, which have a large antrum filled with fluid with a large pra primary oocyte enclosed by granulosa cells of the cumulus ophorus. Each month, only one graphene cell becomes a dominant cell and undergoes ovulation while the follow, while, while, the fo the, while most other developing follicles are rest and degenerate with an apoptosis called atresia. No? Apoptotic process called atresia. So, hello, no? So, with the statement na nakasulat din yun, no? So, um, katong primary oocyte, no? So, asa ba to? Uh, so, antral follicles continue developing as mature graphene follicles which have large antrum filled with fluid with a primary oocyte enclosed by granules, loose cells of the cumulus oophorus, no? So, this statement um, just simply means that transition from, from antral follicle, no, secondary follicle, to become your graphene follicle. Sky. Once mag graphene follicle, na ka, they na mag develop matiwas imuhang meiosis one, no, they na mag develop to until matiwas ni mo siya. So once matiwas ni mo meiosis one, sa so imong oocyte, it now becomes your secondary oocyte, no, so. So, kana siya. So, your secondary oocyte is in your graphene follicle. This statement here only kanang um, states that it's a transition pa, no? So, here, no, oh, oopsies. So, here, no? You can see this oocyte, no? This is an antral follicle, no? Excuse me? Antral follicle. Kana eh? Antrum. Antrum. Dona pellucida. What's this? This is your corona radiata, no? Your corona radiata. This is your cumulus oophorus, no? These are granulosa cells, no? Here na pod. Uh, granulosa cells, no? Corona radiata. Antrum, no? So, mas develop na siya. Meaning, kung mag-develop man ko siya, if you can notice, no, this is a less developed kanang pre-ovulatory follicle, no? 
So, may tabo mong good ana. Um, the granulosa cells here, na pasay bridge, it tends to become more and more isolated. No, the oocyte becomes tends to become more and more isolated in preparation for ovulation. As you can see here, the cells connecting the cumulus o, ay, the cumulus oophorus, no, the cells within it become tends to become more scant, no, compared to your less less matured, no, less developed. Baga pa kay siya. Here it became less. Ay, it the cell count is more scant. So it is in preparation for the ejection of the oocyte, no. All right. Here, so this is the wall of the follicle. The wall of the fo follicle, no. This is your antrum, granulosa cells, no. This is the basement membrane. It is na kayo. Thika interna, thika externa. Thika interna produces estrogen and progesterone precursors, no. If you can see clear, I if you can see, no. Quite vacuolated, ang iyahang cytoplasm, meaning na yung mga bangag bangag. That is because it contains large amounts of, like fat, no fat and steroids, no, because estrogen and progesterone are steroid hormones, no. So why is it bangag bangag doki? Because fat is very hard to stain in H and E, especially fat droplets, no. So that's why more mabangag siya, no, because di siya mas stain. So kato. Then, so then they give the estrogen precursors to your granulosa cells, like I said earlier. So mo tabuk kena siya, and then they create estrogen, no? Granulosa cell form ay create estrogen from the precursors from the theca interna. While your theca externa is more of a fibrous, no? Fibrous in a sense na more of protect. Iyahang role, no? And this is the stroma. Meaning stroma is just like um, stroma supporting tissues, no? Supporting tissues, more like scaffolding. So, kani siya. So, di ba nag-istorya taga niya na dominant na, graf na graphian follicle? What happens sa mga wala na pili, no? Sa dili na dominant, wala na yung dominant, no? So, they undergo atresya, no? Ano ka to? Mahita mo lang, Ana, kay um, first, imu, ay, well, not first, no? Malata, imuhang granulosa cells, there will be apoptosis, no? And then eventually, kani mga clear-clear di, ay, kauno na lang siya, hinahinayan na lang siya, kauno sa imuhang mga macrophages, no? Ano ka to? Yung corona radiata ganit na nipis na. Because, always remember that your corona radiata is just granulosa cells, no? Dikit. So, this is um, the hormonal production. I think it will be discussed in depth in your clinical chemistry. So, just remember, <laughs> in your in your pituitary gland, kanina na lang, um, just remember, your pituitary gland produces FSH, no? Uh, there will be a, produces FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, which stimulates your follicles, no? And then, once nag mature na siya, and then eventually na ay nigawas na, your FSH will develop your follicle, no? And then eventually, so sobra ka-develop uh, during that process, no? Mudak ma-develop po yung muhang surrounding na theca interna. And then, what does theca interna do? Produce steroid precursors, no? And then, these steroid precursors are then um, taken by your granulosa cells to form your estrogen, no? So, Hinahinay na siya, nakadaghan, 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 nakadaghan ng estrogen. And then, when your hypothalamus detects, um, 
your pituitary is kana controlled by your hypothalamus gihapon no? so so nagadaghan nagadaghan because nagaproduce lagi ag SSH imuhang imuhang pituitary anterior pituitary meaning mudaghan magproduce pud estrogen imuhang follicles and then so sobra kadaghan sa imong estrogen may detect na siya sa imong hypothalamus no it will tell your pituitary na pud to stop producing SSH because daghan na kayo og kanang estrogen no because the hypothalamus knows na byproduct sa FSH imuhang estrogen no so it will talk to your pituitary gland through your GnRH no gonadotropin releasing hormone no so it will talk to it no so kato and then it will stop your FSH na then your uh, pituitary will now release your luteinizing hormone no to produce your to do ovulation no your luteinizing hormone is the one that will stimulate ovulation no that's what we call an LH surge no if we're gonna look at the chart later the LH surge no and then this LH will stimulate the kato, smooth muscles ganiya sa imuhang follicle to bumba bumba da uh to squeeze the follicle and eventually protrude the oocyte no and then this lh will develop the remaining follicle na nabili no to become your corpus luteum your lh meaning your lh means luteinizing hormone it will luteinize your corpus luteum eventually Diba, mag produce na mag, your corpus luteum produces lots of progesterone and estrogen gihapon and inhibin. And then it will eventually tell your hypothalamus to stop. No? And then the hypothalamus will tell your pituitary gland to stop LH. And then, kato. <laughs> so, magments na ka. Magments na siya after. So, after ato, ma-realize na po sa imuhang hypothalamus na wala na yung nag-produce of anything na hormone anymore. Kaya kanil, once nag- na, na, ano saan man siya? Pag na, na-detect na taas na po kayo ang progesterones, no? Ang progesterone o ang estrogen, your hypothalamus will stop LH production na po. So, ma-zero na po ang imong hormones. And then, ma-zero na po siya, munaog na po siya. And when it reach a certain low level, dia na pun mag start up na pun imuhang hypothalamus. So, inhibit in estrogen low levels, your hypothalamus will now talk again with your anterior pituitary set. No, it's quite um, it's interesting, but kato we'll just gloss over it. No, no, that's the glossing, the best glossing over I can do. Oh, kani corpus albicans kani siya. Okay, corpus luteum, steroid producing. So, ovulation involves movement of very large dominant graphene follicle to the ovary surface to form a bl- bulge. No? Completion of meiosis 1 and release of polar body to the oocyte. No? So, your graphene follicle, matiwas na siya meiosis 1, mo add to siya sa surface sa imuhang ovary. Because it's very hard to release the oocyte if it's still near to the medulla. Or it needs to go to the surface, no? And release of polar body from the oocyte, no? So, the polar body is the, kato, the half of the 46 chromosomes that dili gamiton. So, kato. So, rupture of the follicle and ovarian coverings releases the secondary oocyte. Now arrested in metaphase 2, so natiwas na na yung meiosis 1, and a layer of attached granulosa cells that make up the corona radiata, the capsule that I was talking about. Cells of the granulosa and thickal layers left in the ovary after ovulation are now reorganized under the influence of luteinizing hormone to form the corpus luteum, 
no? The cells of the corpus luteum are granulosa lutein cells, no? Because what is left are granulosa and the theca internal cells, no? So, nag-combine na sila, no? And then, producing estrogen and comprising 80% of the glands and theca lutein cells producing progesterone, no? So, kato, sila na lang manabili na to sa follicular katong granulosa cell o mga theca lutein cells, no? So, kato, theca lutein produces progesterone, granulosa lutein produces estrogen. This is in the corpus luteum, corpus luteum na, so granulosa lutein, theca, theca lutein, no? So, kato. Next is LH levels drop after 2 weeks after ovulation causing the corpus lute luteum to lose activity, degenerate, and be removed by macrophages. No? So it's just a scar, no? Corpus albicans, no? Alright, no? So the ov ovulated secondary oocyte is swept into the large open infundibulum of the uterine tube or oviduct or the fallopian tube enters the organs ampulla region where it degenerates if not fertilized no so um the the site of fertilization is within the fallopian tube no asamato fallopian tube uh, over here this is the site of i sorry yeah this is the site of their fertilization no sa fallopian tube ni mo in the ampulla, no? So, in the ampulla. So, if dili siya, if no sperm will meet the oocyte here, it will degenerate, no? And then, the body will detect na namatay ng ovum, and then it will start the entire process all over again, no? So, kato, ampulla mag-meet sila here, the fallopian tube. All right. So, fertilization involves sperm capacitation into the oviduct, meaning capacitation. May saka na dyan siya dito. So, oviduct, na kaya dyan niya, nasuyo dyan niya. Acrosomal activation and sperm penetration, like I said earlier, Pag dikit sa imong sperm cell, mo activate tong acrosomia, which is a just a big lysozyme and enzyme na tigbangag, no? Sperm penetration of the corona radiata and the following events at the oocyte surface. No, once magdikit na ang sperm cell ay muhang ZO pro proteins ay muhang coron ay sa muhang zona pellucida, no? Mahitabuan na, ang mahitabuan na, Imong meiosis ay imuhang oocyte, it will complete your meiosis 2, no? Tapos, pagka-complete na niya sa iyang meiosis 2, matunga na to iyahang chromosomes, no? Once na out, so remember, once na ovulate na ang oocyte, wala pa na niya natiwas iyahang katong meiosis 2, no? So, kailangan pa modikit sperm para matiwas niya iyahang meiosis 2. Tapos, once nag, unsa na sila, natiwas na sa ova ang iyang meiosis 2, pwede na sila mag-combine together. So, kato. So, kato, diploid cell na siya, no? Kaya di na siya hyploid, haploid, no? So, when the female pronucleus and the male pronucleus from the sperm fuse, they yield now a diploid cell, no? The zygote, also known as a zygote. So, kato. So, kanang zygote, hindi na siya kabalumulihok. Wala naman na siya flagella, no? So, may tabuan na, the cilia of their fallopian tube will push, no? Will sweep, rather, no? Sweep the zygote into the, kanang, um, into the uterus eventually. So, the ova, kato, the fallopian tube, the oviduct, is muscularis, no? So, kato lagi gina, push lagi niya pababa tong na-fertilize na na na-fertilize na na egg, no? So, katong zygote, you need to push down towards the endometrium. Kaya dito siya magtiwas o iyahang um, development, no? So, kato yun. 
So, the difference between flagella and cilia, no, is that the flagella will propel the cell forward, no, while the cilia will propel, um, will propel anything in general on its apical surface, no, or free surface, free surface, no, just like to move on top, no, like to sweep, no. Okay, these are your, your kanang fallopian tube na tissue, no? We have your P-cells, no? Your secretory peg cells. Pag tanaw ni mo sa ilahang edge, if you look closely, it's like hairy. That's your cilia, no? These are your ciliated cells. Secretory peg cells, they secrete ka to. They secrete. Um, secretions and then look at that muscular layer no circular longitudinal circular longitudinal it's very thick no to do peristalsis no to move the contents toward the endometrium all right so the uterus or the uterine mucosa or endometrium is lined by simple columnar epithelium from which numerous large uterine glands extend into the underlying connective tissue. The connective tissue is vascular, no? We'll talk about this. I'll read this later na lang. Alright. Look at this, no? So, almost better. Alright, no? So, your Your uterus has three layers, no? Your uterus has three layers. Your endometrium, myometrium, your endometrium. This one, the surface of the cavity, your myometrium, and your perimetrium. Your endometrium is a highly kanang, um, it's a shape shifting kung baga, uh, piece of tissue, no? Ay, not piece, but it's a shape shifting kanang nagalahilahi dyan siya, cyclical iyang appearance and iyang morphology pod based on the supporting hormones, no? Because these are, these, uh, the endometrium is sensitive to hormones. Meaning, what do I mean pag sensitive to hormones? It means that if na increase ani na hormone, it will do this. And if na decrease, it will do otherwise. No? So, if we're gonna look at the uterine glands, no? It is said, it said ganihan na, it is lined by simple columnar. Oh, it's gone. Lined by yun. simple columnar cells, no? So it's just one layer of columnar cells here. And it is further divided in your stratum basalis and stratum functionalis, no? Functional layer and the basal layer. The basal layer is constant. It doesn't, it's not as sensitive to hormones as your functional layer. So these are glands, no? What are glands? Glands are, kanang, I think glands produce secretions, no? <laughs> it's as simple as that. They produce secretions toward an external surface, no? So they produce their secretions going out here, no? It's just, it looks like this lang, circle, circle, because when you cut a tube in half, you're gonna see a circle. These glands run along run along the endometrial tissue, no? This is your myometrium. It's very important, no? The myometrium to expel the child during childbirth, no? Alright. So, kato. So, functional layer and your basal layer, no? So, basal layer, less sensitive to hormones. Functional layer, sensitive to hormones. Uh, very sensitive to hormones, no? So, alright.
So, kato. So, di ba zygote pa to siya tong cell na to ganiha? From the fallopian tube. So, when it reaches the when it reaches the uterus, ang um, saan na niya kay blastocyst na siya, no? So, it's gonna develop, man. So, this blastocyst cyst, with, it will implant itself to the functional layer and then mahitabuan na, no? So, namang go two phases in one endometrium. You have your proliferative and your secretory phase, no? So, kato. We'll talk about this na. So, what is your proliferative and your secretory phase, no? Remember ganiha? When we were talking about the hormones, right? So this is a graph of the concentrations of the hormones, Ganiha. Like I said earlier, no. So your uh, your FSH, no, and your LH. So your FSH, kato. This is first day. This is menstruation first day. It was na siya 5 to 7 in a normal kanang walay problema physiologically or usually matiwas na siya but can be prolonged. So, katulag eh, pag wala na kay estrogen, madetect sa imong hypothalamus and then your hypothalamus will now prod your pituitary gland to produce um Hey, produce FSH, no? Because if you produce FSH, indirectly you will produce also estrogen. Hey, produce FSH. No ka to? FSH ni mo, mudaghan. But this started here, no? This is a day before your menses, no? Start na siya kadaghan. Kayo ka to lagi, mubo na yung estrogen and all. So, ka to? Daghan na siya. And then, if the estrogen gets higher, I let's correlate it with here, no? So, kato, hey, produce FSH, then magka-steadily increase with yung uh, estrogen. And then, when taas na kayo yung estrogen, madetect na siya sa yung hypothalamus. Yung hypothalamus would maingon na, hey, stop producing FSH na. It's time for LH na food. Then, May tabuan na, muna o kayo na siya, mumubo kayo na siya. And then, kayo naiabot naman ang peak. You see, the peak of the estrogen concentration correlates with the dip in your FSH because, katalagi, naging na nasa hypothalamus ang pituitary gland to stop doing its thing. Ato. And then, mag-LH na. Remember, LH is the one that strong ginap siya ang nagapa-contract katulagi nagapa-facilitate sa ovulation also na poy help do my FSH so mo birada na siya kato imong LH this is what you call the LH surge no this is correlated to your ovulation so if you were to test a woman no if nag-ovulate ba siya today you should check um kanang dapat every day ni mo siya gina check for LH and then suddenly magtaas iyang LH most probably she is undergoing ovulation no so LH surge equals to your ovulation most probably <laughs> kato so this ovulation so mo ta mo dok nga no wala man sa 13 iyang ovulation of course manukad pa man by di man pasabot pag Pag, if there's an abrupt um, LH increase, diretso na mo mag-book mo buto da yun ang uh, katong graphian follicle ni mo. Though it's, it needs time pag yapon. So, your LH is here. It develops your, um, after ovulation, your corpus luteum um, is continually sti stimulated by your LH. And then, your corpus luteum will then produce your progesterone, your thicalutin, no? And then, mag-produce food o 
um, estrogen imuhang granulosa lutein cells, no? Oh, wait lang. So, kato, no? Um, and then, eventually, pag taas na po ka ay imuhang progesterone levels, and then, wala, joy, wala yung nahitabo na ovulation, um, the hypothalamus will then decide, no? Um, to pahuay sa ta, no hormones sa Look at this, nag-dip imuhang FSH, very low and very... And then once, well, any stimulation from your LH and your FSH, eventually your corpus luteum will die. So, wala na hormones, no? So, kato, once wala na hormones, madetect na po sa imuhang, <laughs> so, madetect na po sa imuhang hypothalamus na, uy, wala na hormones. And then it will increase its FSH once again. So, but, does it mean sa imuhang endometrium, no? This is your endometrial lining, no? It is supported not by your FSH and your LH. It is supported and kanang, it is stimulated by your estrogen and uh, progesterone, no? So, this is your proliferative phase, no? So, this is your menstrual phase. The reason why your menstrual phase um, occurs because, like I said earlier, your progest your estrogen, um, your estrogen and progesterone support your. I uh, they are the ones that stimulates the growth of the functionalis layer of your endometrium, no? So, ngano appeal nila ang unsa ang menstrual flow sa first cycle sa imong endometrial or uterine cycle because the menstrual phase represents the lowest no lowest hormones na available and then your proliferative phase is dictated by your estrogen no it is the one that supports your proliferative phase now meaning ano proliferative phase it jump starts the proliferation of your endometrial cells no Endometria, endometrium, no? Functionalis. And then your secretory phase, brought about by progesterone, makes each an individual gland to secrete, no? Kay kung nag-secret na siya, meaning mas nutritious ang yung surface because of the secretions. And the progesterone also makes the glands more, ay, the blood vessels more tortuous, no? And mas vascularized, no? So meaning once nagdikit dito ang blastocyst, na na siya blood vessels na kadikit daan o iyang surface kay well nourished no o kato but if wala gihapoy mo dikit sa iya ha eventually mo na og lang po ng mga hormones and then mag menstruation na po alright alrighty okay so next slide so ano main pituitary uh, main actions no so, please read this, no? That's what I said about Ganiha. These are your endometrial glands, no? Lined by columnar, simple columnar cells, no? These are your glands. So, the mucosa of the narrow inferior end of the uterus, camel cervix, does not change, no? So, dili siya sensitive from your, uh, to your progesterone and estrogen, no? And at its external os, the columnar epithelium changes up abruptly to stratified squamous, no? So, this is what you call the transformation zone. This is the area that we usually get from in pop smears. Always remember that because this is the area in which common ka makakita og um, squamous cell carcinoma. Not necessarily that, but hindi hata makakita og mga changes brought about by your her uh, human papilloma virus, no? HPV, no? which in turn may progress into carcinoma. So, it's a good screening, no? your pap smear. In the mammary glands, alveolar secretory units develop after puberty on a branching duct system with lactiferous sinuses converging at the nipple milk secretion lactation begins at late pregnancy continues until weaning involves both 
protein exocytosis and apocrine secretion of lipid droplets no so that is your cervix no even has chronic cervicitis <laughs> anyway this is a pop smear uh, you will encounter this more on your histopath which kato maybe i will be teaching the topic and i will show you actual pop smears no so this is a vagina the vagina is nothing but a tube no it is lined by stratified squamous non keratinizing god knows what will happen if keratinizing to no so what what makes um if keratinizing siya it will be become very rough no so it's not not nice no so um if you can see no stratified squamous imuhang mucosa I am mohang lining, but there is no not much glands within, no. So, ang nagapa moist, nagapa nagakato lubricates a mohang vagina is not necessarily glands, but blood vessels, no. They dilate, the blood vessels dilate, and then there would be once they become leaky, katong fluid from the blood vessels, it will lubricate the the kato, vagina upon arousal no these are your mammary glands no so in the, this is your ducts and kanisha tanan is your lobule is our athenae lobules and then ducts na pwede follicles imuhang imuha this one is a pregnant lactation ni siya lobules are greatly enlarged and they produce kaning milk this is milk the d siya the excretory duct filled with milk all right so kato exocytosis of proteins and apocrine kato finish so It's been a long lecture, no, for both male and female. Um, but to put it into perspective, no, I want you to. I I really spent time on the female, trying to make it as simple as I could, yet filled with knowledge that I think you should really know because the the recurring themes of the female reproductive um, tract is. Kanang, kato, it's really hormone based jud, and um, apart from it being hormone based, daghan jug sakit na mak makuha ang mga babae, no, uh, all throughout their lives. Some are blessed to have none, but kato, majority of the cases sent to the histopath section, no, are kanang, of course, from the gynecological sa mga babae. So so you should really take care of your mothers no ha, timely put kain in a lecture kay mother's day just goes to show the lengths that your mother the changes of the body the mother went through to to anak anak you no to to expel you to nourish you so it's a very profound and humbling experience to study this especially if you're gonna be an OBGYN in the future or be a surgeon or be a pathologist no because kato. so if you have any questions comments or corrections just tell me lang and then kato. so my quiz will be 20 items for both male and female and don't worry I won't um, kill you with the details lang no just always remember my buzzwords and kato study hard um pray harder pray always and thank you for listening to me and god bless bye bye